uh, we had a request uh, which came in via email from a soldier who was, as I recall, a chaplain in Iraq. And uh, he, unfortunately, was in the middle of uh, an IUD explosion. IED explosion. Is it? IED, I'm sorry. Yep. IUD go someplace else. That, that it does. <laughs> 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 Wouldn't know where. <laughs> At any rate, he and his crew happened to be a, in an IED um, ex- explosion, and he lost a lot of his equipment, including his tracker knife. And he went back some six months later to that same village because he loved that knife. And um, he, with an interpreter, had a $20 bill and had the people in the village come around him, and uh, he was offering the $20 bill if anybody could find his knife, and he had a picture of his knife, which he showed around. And uh, about five, ten minutes after that, a little woman comes out and um, shows him the knife, and it looks all beat up, but it was definitely his knife. And uh, the question he had for us was, would we honor the warranty if it was all beat to hell, we presently have that knife. The woman had been using it after she found it to split wood, and she was hitting it with the back or on the back of the knife with a piece of rebar. The knife is beat to hell, and we were so pleased with how it did stand up to the continual beatings that we happily replaced the chaplain's knife. Who else could you do it for besides a chaplain? 